With Jinji, it's never been easier to add a fully customizable tutorial to your game. Everything from the text to when your tutorial shows up to how to progress in the tutorial to all the assets is completely customizable using Jinji. And to build our tutorial, all we need is an XML file. Let's familiarize ourselves with this file, which you can of course download alongside our tutorial files. The tutorial XML is broken up into lessons. In our first lesson, which we've named Welcome Notes, each blurb of text, we give a separate ID, and then we write whatever you wish to appear. For example, Welcome to Jinji's Tutorial Module. Let's break down the rest of our parameters. The sound file parameter lets you add a custom sound to the blurb popping up. The attached item ID parameter makes your blurb focus on one element on your stage. Say for example there's an element you want to draw your player's attention to, or there's a button on the stage you want your player to click on to proceed with the game. And then action is the action the user has to do to proceed with the tutorial. So here we've written no, but you can see there are several actions the user can do. Click, drag, assemble, window event, and end. You can experiment with these when you've gotten a better grasp on the basics. For our visual parameter, we've set it to null. But the visual parameter highlights whatever object you're focusing on. You can see in our fourth blurb here, we have an arrow right visual. There are arrows from every direction as well as other visual cues such as glows, oscillating glows, mouse moves, etc. These come pre-built with Jinji. Our next parameter is delay. This determines the length that the current blurb will stay on the screen. And OK annotation is the text you want to appear on the OK button. You can write here whatever you wish, but keep it short because you only have the width of your button. We can ignore exceptions for now. And finally, window location determines the position your blurb will appear on screen. Available to you are top left, top right, top middle, bottom left, bottom right, bottom middle, and then of course just middle. OK. Now let's instantiate our tutorial inside of our game. We pasted this tutorials.xml file into our source folder, and we've pasted in our tutorial sprite sheet PNG and tutorial sprite sheet XML files into our assets folder. Whatever names you specify these assets in your sprite sheets, as well as the name of the sprite sheets themselves, must be specified in our settings.xml file. Let's have a look at that. So here you can see some parameters such as glow color, glow quality, enable quit tutorial, boolean, enable audio, and etc. Your tutorial window, tutorial close, tutorial button, and tutorial are the names of the assets inside of our tutorial spreadsheet. And the last one is the actual spreadsheet tutorial itself. As well, just make sure the fonts you specify here matches the fonts you've embedded in your project. In our main game class, make sure you submit GUI tutorial module at the end of your init function. And then at the bottom, once everything is loaded, we will type Jinji tutorial module dot star tutorial. And our tutorial XML is just called tutorials.xml and init. And that's it, we're done. Now let's preview it. As you can see, the tutorial's XML takes care of the rest. Everything's customized and easy to implement. You can see our arrow highlight. 
And then on top of that, you can see oscillating glow as well as the arrow acting at the same time. And you can see the tutorial window can appear in any point, and, and you can see the tutorial window appears in various points on the screen. And that's it. That's all you need to know for our tutorial. That's all you need to know to get your own tutorial up and running. Thanks for watching.